welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss about uh, uh, the topic uh, clamper okay diode clamper from the subject uh, electronic circuits to and uh, electronic devices and circuits okay so already uh, we discussed uh, that is the in wave shaping and multi vibrator circuit okay the unit 4 the diode clamp clipper we discussed okay the different types of clipper we discussed in the previous video and uh, so today we are going to discuss about uh, one more application of the diode it is a clamper okay and uh, if we want to learn the remaining uh, three unit uh, and the remaining unit uh, mcq videos so i will give link in the description box you can see or in my channel uh, electronic circuits to mcq playlist is that so in that playlist uh, you watch all videos okay then uh, if you want to learn the signals and system mcq video as well as signals and system lecture video uh, then a digital signal processing and antenna and microwave engineering mcq so all mcqs are available in a separate uh, playlist in my channel okay so you go and see so we will see the question today the first one a circuit that adds positive or negative dc voltage to an input sine wave is called dash okay so which circuit uh, it adds some positive dc voltage or negative dc voltage to an input sine wave or input ac signal it is called clamper okay so clipper already you know clipper as a circuit used to remove some portion of the given input signal okay so in clipper there are two types there positive and negative clipper if positive half cycle is clipped means that circuit is called as positive clipper if negative half cycle is clipped means it is called as a negative clipper okay similarly uh, a circuit uh, it is used to add the dc component to an ac signal it is called as a clamper okay so uh, the clamper output either that entire sine wave is shifted to above uh, reference voltage or below reference okay so there is no change in the shape of the waveform okay but that signal is shifted either to the positive direction or negative direction it is a clamper then the next question a device that inserts positive dc level in the output signal is called a dash diode limiter diode clamper blocker barrier clamper so this clamper it shift uh, that is uh, it is used to insert some positive dc level either it uh, in insert positive dc level or negative dc level if the positive dc level is inserted means that clamper is called as positive clamper negative dc level we are inserting means that uh, circuit is called as a negative clamper anyway it's a clamper then the next one a clamper is also referred to as dc inserter clipper dc cutter so the other name of the clamper is dc inserter so why it is called as a dc inserter means the circuit inserts some dc component to the ac input signal that's why the other name of the clamper is dc inserter okay then the next one the component in clamping circuit will acts as a battery is dash okay so in order to construct one clamper circuit we needed the three uh, basic component one is resistor uh, capacitor uh, then diode okay so the three Uh, elements are used in order to construct either positive clamper or negative clamper so in that three component which component is uh, will act as a battery okay so in order to store the previous thing it's a capacitor so the capacitor is a component used in clamping circuit will act as a battery okay then the next one what are the applications of diode clipper clamper rectifier all of the above all of the above so uh, that is a, it this clipper clamper rectifier these are all the applications of the ordinary pn junction diode okay so using the pn junction diode we may design clipper circuit or different types of clipper circuit clamper circuit and rectifier half wave rectifier full wave rectifier bridge rectifier any rectifier we can design so all of the above is the answer okay then the next question which of the following is not true regarding the clamper okay so in that four statement which one is not true so already you know about clamper clamper means it is used to insert some uh, dc voltage dc level to the given ac signal okay 
either positive DC or negative DC level, it will insert. Uh, uh, after inserting the DC level, there is no change in the waveform of the input signal. So what is the input waveform? It is a sine wave means the same sine wave of the same amplitude we will get in the output also. Okay, There is no change in the output. There is the shape change, waveform change, no change in the thing. Only the DC level is shifted. Okay, uh, So in this four statement, which one is not true, we have to find out. A positive clamper add a positive DC voltage. Yes, it's a correct. A clamper can also be called as DC inserted. So this is also true. Okay, so this is the first statement is also true. Second is also true. To reduce tilt, we have to reduce the RC value. So this statement is, uh, this is not the statement regarding the clamper. Okay, then the fourth one, negative clamper will clamp the positive peak of the output to the reference voltage. So the remaining three, uh, the A, B, D is a statement regarding clamper. But the third one, to reduce tilt, we have to reduce the RC value. This is not the statement about the clamper. So this is not true regarding the clamper. Okay, this RC, if we want to reduce tilt, we have to reduce the RC value. This is uh, in the low pass, uh, low pass RC circuit and high pass RC circuit, this is the statement. Okay. Then the next question, consider the following statements for clamper circuit. Okay, first one adds or subtracts a DC voltage to a waveform. Yes, then it does not change the waveform. Yes, okay, of, that is a, uh, what is the input waveform you are applying for the clamper circuit? The wave, same waveform only we will get in the output. Okay, uh, in the waveform, there is no change. Sine waveform we are applying means same sine waveform we will get. Triangular waveform we are applying in triangular waveform we will get. So it does not change the waveform. Then amplifies the waveform. Okay, it is wrong. It's not the clamper circuit. It is not amplifying the waveform. Only that uh, signal is shifted. Okay, shifted to either a positive direction or negative direction. So which are correct. So in the three statement uh, regarding the clamper circuit, which one is correct? Okay, so the statement one and two is uh, correct. It adds or subtract the DC voltage. It does not change the waveform. It amplifies the waveform is wrong. So one and two is the correct. So three is the wrong. Okay. Then the next one, considering the clamper circuit, uh, where the capacitance C uh, load R, the cutting voltage of the diode are known, which is the correct statement. Okay. So for one clamper circuit, uh, capacitor is C, the resistor values are and uh, the diode cutting voltage uh, is unknown means uh, which one is the correct statement the dc level of the signal changes then the peak to peak value of the signal changes okay there is no change in the peak to peak value okay the shape of the signal changes no the dc level shifts up okay so the remaining uh, that is a uh, if the value of uh, R, C and uh, diode uh, cutting voltage is unknown means which one is the correct statement? Okay, so which is the correct? The DC level of the signal changes. Okay, the DC level of the signal changes. This is the thing. Then the next one, uh, which of the following is not necessary component in a clamper circuit? So in order to construct clamper circuit, so you see, this is the simple clamper circuit. So capacitor, then one diode and we have to use one more resistor. Okay, so here uh, in order to take the load, we have to connect one resistor. So these are all the basic elements needed to design the clamper. Diode, capacitor, resistor, independent DC supply. So the this first three, diode, capacitor, resistor is a, a necessary component in order to design the clamper. But independent DC supply is not needed. Uh, if we want to uh, use reference voltage means we may use. So the answer is uh, independent DC supply. Then the next one, what is the circuit in the given diagram? So here the diagram, the circuit diagram is given. So this waveform is not at all given. So here in order to, I want, in order to explain the circuit, uh, uh, I drawn the input and output waveform. Okay, only the circuit diagram, this diagram uh, is given. You have to identify which type of circuit is this, okay? So this is the diode based circuit. So it may be a clipper or clamper. So what is the difference between clipper and clamper means in clipper, no need of capacitor. 
but in clamper there is a compulsory capacitor we have to use so here you see here one diode is connected here in series one capacitor c is there okay so that's why we can identify the given circuit is a clamper okay so in clamper so which clamper is this either it is a positive clamper or negative clamper we have to verify okay so you, we have to obtain the output waveform uh, uh, that is the output waveform for this diagram so from the output diagram we can say that it is a, a positive clamper or negative clamper okay so in the four choices the first two two thing is wrong since it's a positive and negative clipper is there okay so no no chance it is a clipper here the capacitor is there so capacitor diode resistor means it's a clamper circuit so we have to check either it is a positive clamper or negative clamper okay so this diagram uh, this the given diagram it's a negative clamper circuit okay so why it is called as a negative clamper means so this circuit uh, if you are applying the input signal as a sine waveform okay so here you see this is the input waveform means the output waveform obtained from this diagram it is shifted you see so the total ac signal is shifted down to the reference voltage okay so that's why here uh, the ac voltage is shifted downwards so what is the meaning the negative dc voltage is introduced in the circuit so that's why this clamper circuit it is called as a negative clamper okay so in order to explain the working principle of the negative clamper so first you see during the positive half cycle of input okay so in the diagram so during the positive half cycle of input uh, so during this positive half cycle this diode gets forward bias okay consider the positive half cycle is applied here so at the time this diode anode is connected to the positive voltage so the diode gets forward bias okay so the diode gets forward bias means at the time this capacitor c okay this capacitor c charge uh, it starts charging towards the maximum voltage of up to vm okay then after that during the negative half cycle of input this diode d gets reverse bias so if the diode gets reverse bias means what is the meaning this diode it will work as a open circuit that is that is it will offer very high resistance at the time this capacitor so what is the function of this capacitor means already this capacitor stores the previous uh, maximum value okay so during the diode is on condition now during the negative half cycle of input the diode gets reverse bias so at the time this diode gets open circuit okay so through this capacitor uh, through this resistor r this capacitor discharges okay so what is the value stored previously that voltages are discharged via this resistor r okay so that's why we will get a uh, out if you are measuring the output waveform in the circuit means the output waveform is uh, shifted downwards okay so the output waveform is shifted downwards means what is the meaning the negative dc voltage is inserted okay so the given circuit it is called as a negative clamper okay so you see the position of the diode if anode is in top cathode is in bottom means here one capacitor and resistor means the circuit is called as a negative clamper if you are reversing the diode okay cathode in upward anode downward means that clamper is called as a positive clamper okay uh, so the next question you see what is the diagram what is the circuit in the given diagram so you see here the capacitor is there one diode is there so input is given output is taken here so what is this diode so uh, you see the position of diode so according to the position of diode this uh, uh, circuit it is called as a positive clamper so what is mean by positive clamper positive clamper mean it shift the entire ac waveform to upwards okay so you see this is the input waveform this is the output so what is the difference between this input and output so in the input waveform we will have positive cycle as well as negative cycle so here you see the entire cycle is shifted above the reference voltage okay so the dc plus dc voltage positive dc voltage is inserted so the circuit we can call it as a positive clamper so here the answer is a positive clamper okay then the next one in positive basically the clamper is divided into two thing positive and negative clamper then uh, we can introduce 
in positive and negative clamper we can introduce some amount of reference voltage similar to clipper circuit okay so you see uh, what is the circuit uh, in the given diagram so here according to the position of this uh, diode we can say that it is a negative clamper okay here capacitor is there here diode is there so we can say that it is a negative clamper so negative clamper and uh, this diode is connected in series with one uh, battery okay so this battery it is called as a reference voltage battery so that's why so what is the working of this diode means this diode it will work as a positive clamper with plus uh, uh, that is it is a negative clamper it is not a positive it's a negative clamper with plus v reference okay so this clamper it will shift uh, shift our given signal to plus vr position okay so this is the output waveform if only negative clamper means the entire cycle is shifted below the reference voltage but the negative clamper with plus vr so that's why we will get you see a minimum amount of uh, uh, thing is available in a positive side the maximum thing is available in a negative side so this diagram is called as a negative clamper with plus v reference okay and in the circuit uh, this uh, battery polarity is changed okay so here minus here plus okay you see in the next diagram uh, so here you see minus is here plus is here means so this is called as a negative clamper with minus v reference voltage okay this is a negative clamper with minus v reference so this clamper it will shift uh, again downwards to the uh, direction okay it will insert more uh, negative dc level to the given input signal so you see the waveform this is the input this is the output so output is entirely Uh, shifted to the negative direction so this diagram is a negative clamper with minus vr okay similarly you see the next one what is the circuit in the given diagram so you see the diode position cathode is here anode is here okay and capacitor is there so this is the positive clamper so in positive clamper with you see here there is a battery is there so uh, this battery polarity is this is plus this is minus so that's why this is the positive clamper with plus v reference okay so the circuit is the positive clamper with the plus v reference so the circuit it will shift our signal to more positive in a direction then the next one uh, what is the circuit in the given diagram so here you see according to this diode and capacitor this is a positive clamper with uh, this reference voltage you see here minus here plus okay so this one is the positive clamper with minus vr okay so this is the positive uh, clamper with minus vr so c is the answer here okay this is not a b c is the answer positive clamper with minus v reference so here you see we will get the minimum value minimum cycle in a negative cycle so entire value is appearing in a positive side okay so these are all the uh, different types of uh, clamper circuits okay so the clamper is one of the important application of the pn junction diode similar to clipper okay uh, so thanks for watching my channel and please subscribe my channel for more videos if you want to learn the remaining videos uh, for the subject uh, mcq video for the subject electronic circuits too i will give link in the description box as well as for signals and system mcq digital signal processing mcq and antenna mcq so uh, i will give a link uh, in the description box you can see or in my channel there is a separate playlist is created for uh, mcq for each subject so you go and learn okay so thank you we will see in the next video